Responding to incidents involving either high-pressure gaseous or liquid hydrogen trailers is similar to any industrial gas transportation response. The physical properties of the gas, as well as the container type and extent of damage, are key factors in determining a response plan. Trailer shapes and placarding will initially help to determine potential hazards. Additional response information can be obtained from the DOT ERG, Chemtrek, or by contacting the hydrogen provider. As a general rule when responding to a fire involving these types of trailers, do not put water on any vents or pressure relief devices. On cryogenic trailers, the water can freeze if the hydrogen is venting and prevent the gas from escaping the tank. On any trailer, if the venting hydrogen has ignited, the safest option is to let it burn off rather than extinguishing it. If fire is impinging on a trailer, the container type should be considered before water is applied. When high pressure steel tube and cryogenic trailers are involved, water should be used to reduce the potential for container overpressurization and damage. If composite cylinders are present, there are additional considerations. Cylinder orientation and design features such as sidewalls and a roof may block access for complete cooling with water. Partial water application could cool the TPRD and prevent its activation, but not prevent damage to the cylinder itself. This could result in a catastrophic failure of the cylinder. If the entire cylinder or cylinder bank can be effectively cooled by the hose stream, use standard firefighting practices and apply water. However, if access is restricted, a better option may be to protect any exposures and allow the TPRDs to function as designed. If hydrogen gas is venting due to a damaged cylinder, damaged piping, or through a pressure relief device, it tends to rise and dissipate quickly. However, be aware that there may be instances where it can collect and be exposed to an ignition source. If there is a potential for a hydrogen gas leak, use combustible gas meters and thermal imaging cameras to determine the levels in the area and if it is burning. In some cases, a leak may be accompanied by a hissing or loud high-pitched venting noise. If a composite cylinder burns, there can be a lot of smoke because of the carbon fiber in the composite material. In cryogenic trailers, if the hydrogen has the opportunity to warm, for example, when it isn't offloaded in a sufficient amount of time, it begins to revert back to a gas. In that event, the pressure relief device is designed to release the head pressure in the tank until it returns to a safe level. The gaseous hydrogen that is released can mix with air and ignite if an ignition source is present. In a fire situation, a blevy is possible if the insulating vacuum is lost between the inner and outer tank walls. When this occurs, the relief valve may not be able to maintain a safe pressure due to the rapid rate that the liquid hydrogen would revert back to a gas. If the insulating vacuum is not lost, a blevy is not a significant hazard.